What's going on everybody? Fluff here with another cool gear alert. This time we're going to talk about Analysis Plus cables. Now, Analysis Plus is interesting because they're not really a cable company. I mean, they are, but they kind of fell into it because Analysis Plus is really an engineering company that kind of stumbled upon how to build a better cable. And now they provide cables to NASA and GM and Ford and a whole bunch of other companies that have critical needs for very, very high tolerance cables. And I was sent a few, I was sent a power cable. I was sent a, a couple of guitar cables. Now, what's interesting about these is the core, the copper core of these cables, namely this, uh, this clear oval cable is, as the name implies, oval. Now, I use very, very good cables in my home studio. They are expensive and long lasting and I enjoy them. These, upon trying them, have a kind of fidelity that I kind of struggle to actually describe to you. And immediately when I plug these in, the noise floor is immediately noticeable or really lack thereof. There's not a lot of noise. These things are dead silent, even, yeah, I, it's really hard to describe these cables. They're really, really nice. There is a fidelity to the signal in these that I'm not really used to. Now, cables sound different. All of them sound different. The length will make it sound different, etc., etc. We know this, this is common knowledge. That's why a lot of us like cables, including myself. These have a fidelity and a crystal clear top end that I'm not really used to. And it's really, really cool. Now, I will note, these are not for you guys that are sitting in your bedroom, jamming on your Line 6 combo. These are audiophile cables. And these are not $20 for a 20 foot cable. I will just, let's get that out of the way. Um, for a 20 foot cable, you're looking at about $100, $129, something around there. Now with the power cable, it's really interesting to note that I tested this on a few different amps. I tested it on my Mesa Boogie triple rectifier from 1996. And I also tested this on the Rev Generator 740 and a few other amps that use, uh, you know, the standard style um, connector. And the noise floor, again, was reduced. I wouldn't call it dramatic or anything like that. It's not like someone's using a really high-end power conditioner on the app or anything like that, but there is a difference. And I will admit that I wasn't really uh, expecting any, but there is. And these are really, really cool. And I thought you guys would uh, like to check them out. Uh, all applicable links down below in the description. Uh, check them out. It's really interesting, at least if not for anything, the story and the tech, because the tech is equally as interesting and I can appreciate that as well. You've been wonderful, I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.